learners, welcome back to Leaks Fully Excited for Learning. So today we are going to do the project Hot Air Balloon Ride. Okay, so air balloon ride. And this is the so Firebase console. Before everything, what you have to do is that you have to go to console.firebase.google.com and then press add project. Then you'll see you have to fill out this like blah 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 whatever you say let's say like balloon balloon okay then you have to press continue and then you have to disable this and then say create project okay and then you'll uh, the actually exact steps are given over here you can see all of them and it's pretty easy then you have to copy paste a kind of a link what they gave and then you have to keep it in the index.html of your code. So then you have to open the um, zip file or then you have to unzip it and then open it in the Visual Studio code and then you have to copy paste that thing that a kind of link kind of thingy whatever is there that configures <laughs> then you have to paste it okay so I've pasted it like from here to yeah so from here to here no from right here to here. till this was the configuring link kind of thing so then you have to just paste it now let's go into the sketch.js how does this work okay, I haven't shown you the project now this is the project so you'll see that it continues from the exact position where you start now I'm leaving it over here okay and then when I reload it it takes time yes it came to the exact same position the more thing is that when you press the up arrow it should increase size and you press the down arrow it should decrease in size that's one of the tasks to complete so let's get started also you have to create after doing that then you have to go to real-time database over there and then hot air balloon so it will start like this and then you have to click the click the plus sign okay and then add a node or something like position and then inside this balloon inside this balloon you have to create one more thing called position uh, sorry and then inside this position you have to create two things called x y okay now you can if you move this like 100 then you'll see it came over here so this connects the data the link that i told you it connects the database and the your code okay now to move again right see so First, create two variables, database and position. The function preload was already given by them when you open it in Visual Studio Code. Then in function setup, database equals to firebase dot database. Create canvas, we are creating the canvas. Balloon equals to create sprite. 250, 450, 150, 150. So 250, 450 is the x position, y position. 150, 150 is the size. Okay next balloon dot add animation hot air balloon so we are adding the animation not just image because you can see that it kind of rotates it looks like it's rotating but we are switching images okay this was also given by them now next where balloon equals to database dot ref balloon position balloon position dot on value read position show error balloon dot scale equals to 0 0.4 so where balloon position balloon position equals to database dot ref so we are referring from the database this balloon so this is um, what directs you now in some projects they have given a folder named sprites and inside that you'll see all the images so like that this you know diverts it to this so first balloon is the main one right 
and inside this balloon there's something called position so we have to refer ref means refer this balloon position which what is the end of position x and y position okay and then balloon position dot on value read position show error so we have to like you have to refer this or re listen to value read position and show error so you'll see read position show error okay these are the two functions that we have created next balloon dot scale equals to 0 0.4 before we like change anything press up arrow or down arrow it's the regular size is this when you press up arrow it's increasing and you press the down arrow it decreases so the regular position of uh, sorry the regular size of the balloon is 0 0.4 okay and text size 20 so text size 20 is this text size okay next function draw if key down left arrow then balloon dot add animation hot air balloon comma balloon image too okay so this um, was given by them and then change position minus three zero so minus three for x position so when you have to go to the right side is plus three and when you go to the left side it's minus three for the x position so we want it to go to the left that's the reason minus three change position i'll tell you what is this change position because this is also a function that we have to create i'll show it to you afterwards next balloon dot add animation hot air balloon balloon image 2 now same thing balloon image 2 what is this balloon image 2 balloon image 2 is a animation okay balloon image 1 is just one png but balloon image 2 has multiple ones okay so next same thing right arrow then in the x position so x1 parameter you add 3 and then because we are going down and it's related to the, to the y, y axis so in the y parameter we keep minus 3 because we are going down and plus 3 sorry minus 3 because we are going up and plus 3 because we are going down okay and in this we have added two more extra lines because they said that when you press the up arrow it should increase the size down arrow decrease so to make that happen so up arrow should increase so balloon dot scale 0 0.5 before it was 0 0.4 so 0 0.5 is greater than 0 0.4 which will make it go bigger next down arrow then 0 0.3 less than 0 0.4 is 0 0.3 so that's it next okay so this is of a waste i don't know why did they give this okay so draw sprites then fill zero stroke white i don't know stroke white the stroke is white you can see it's small white white you know white surrounding it like it's like a border white color border and then fill is zero zero which is black color okay text size is 25 and then text is use arrow keys to move hot air balloon so use arrow keys to move the hot air balloon 40 comma 40 okay so this is the x and y position of that okay next function change position over here you're seeing change position change position let's see what exactly this function is database.ref balloon position dot set so we are referring this balloon position dot set okay then we are setting it as x position x <coughs> colon position dot x plus x y position dot y plus y so 
we are changing the position so position dot x plus x so little more of the x we are so see position dot x this means that x chart you will see a graph then you will see position x axis y axis so in this parameter x x means whatever value we add over here for the x x position to it you know move plus x so this means that whatever value you enter over here which is over here then you add that much value to the previous x position of it so now if i say 3 then it will add 3 it will move by 3 something like 3 units and it will go a little more further the next time you press the right arrow then it will move a little more so previous one plus 3 okay so that's how it works now over here whatever we keep y so suppose 3 suppose then y position so position of y axis so up down okay the it affects the up and down the way it goes up and down okay so plus y so whatever we have given over here which means over here in this parameter then plus y so we add that much value to the y position which makes it go down okay this is how this change position function works okay so for here x meaning the x axis and for here y meaning the y axis but over here this means this parameter not x axis or y axis okay next let's go into the read position so position equals to data dot val okay so position equals to data dot val we have entered so next balloon dot x equals to position dot x balloon dot y equals to position dot y that means whatever we set the position that means the balloon should also move according to that okay so we are reading the position of the position in this then we are applying it to the balloon okay next it's the same for y function show error function, function show error console.log error in code whenever there's some error in our code then it will it will not show something right it, it's going to be blank and when we inspect in console then console it will show error okay error in the code it will write like that so this function's responsibility is to show whether there's an error in code or not so that's the function of that now balloon position dot on so first we'll read the values whatever given over here and then read position what is this it will read the position of the um, position and implement it on the balloon and then next what will it do if this is not possible if read position is not happening because of an error then it will go to the next one show error what uh, when you go to the function show error you'll see that we say it to console show in code error in code sorry then it will console that thing when there's an error Okay, so this is the project and since this is a very new thing database firebase then creating a project configuring it it's a whole new thing that we have never learned so this is first class it will be a little hard but if we keep on trying it will be very easier we have to practice okay so this was the project and hope you like this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell and if you have any doubts, questions, queries, suggestions, whatever, you can write it in the dis um, comment section below. Thank you. Bye.